I have hooked the fence and a little head. Yeah, today we're going to do something different again. As you can see, we're in the kitchen, in my kitchen. Oh, do apologise, it's just that I'm not very well again. So if I use the potato heads here, because he's going to do all the hard work for me. Right, today we are going to copy someone. Um, we're going to copy um, Rogue Propellers. Now, I did do a video on the same day she did hers, but I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it come out, so I'm going to reach, I'm reshooting it. Today we're going to make some butter, but we're going to be completely different than what she did. Right, if I bring you over here, look at his face, look at him. <laughs> right, yeah, guys, I know this look, might look a mess, but I do apologise. Right there, it's 100 grams of milk powder, and put that in a pot. I know a lot of people are going to say to me, "This looks a lot." It probably is, but as I said, it's a lot different compared to the way other people do theirs. Right, so if he goes to the pot, go the pot, please. Yeah. I don't measure oil, never have done, never will. Um, if you want a recipe, I will leave a link to a Morgan's video, not Morgan's, sorry, we'll prepare this video in the description. Right, like, just go get some water. Ow. There's a tosh. Wow. Put the lid on. Okay. You want to make sure your lid's sealed tight. Hold on properly, not half done. And now all he's going to do is shake it. Not that there? Yep. Shake. And as you can see, if he stops for a minute, yeah, you want it nice and thing. Yeah, I find if you add more, <coughs> can you take over please? I find if you add more milk powder, then you add to oil and you add to the water, it comes out better and it comes out a little bit more thicker. You don't need a lot of thing. You don't really need a lot of. Can you come and shake it? Right. You don't really need a lot of um, things. I've always not tried salt because there's salt, natural salt in the milk powder. As you can see, if we open the lid, right. already it's turned into some nice butter. It smells quite nice as well. Already, very nice. But you need to come and shake that for a minute. Because we're going to get the whole of the um, grains mixed in. Lovely. We're going to pause you there for a minute, guys, because it's going to take just over three minutes, so we'll leave it there for a minute. Right, welcome back, guys. Um, as you can see, the potato red's still shaking. We did have to add a little bit more butter, um, butter, water, because it was a bit more, it was a bit grainy. It should be getting there now, in theory. Should be up, lovely. And it is. It's getting the, um, Frequency, not frequency. That's the one. Lovely. It's not going to look like normal butter, what you buy in the shops. It's not going to taste like normal butter that you buy in the shops. But the difference is, this butter is a lot different. Some people might not like it, some people might like it. Right, I think that should be done now anyway, mate. Is it probably going? Lovely. And it is. It is. Oh, there? Perfect. That's oh, look at that. That's the way it's supposed to look. Oh, the rain. There you go, guys. That's the way it's going to look at the end. As I said, I do things differently compared to a lot of people. I do it the way I've been taught and the way I'm going to carry on doing it the way I've been taught. Yeah. Um, as I said, this butter, it's not going to have the same frequency. Oops. That's the butter you buy in shops. It's not going to taste the same as you buy in shops. It, it is going to be a lot more salty. I can tell you that now. And it's going to be a little bit more grainy. So, yeah. Right, we're going to leave it there, guys, because at the end of it's going up to five minutes. So, tell us what you think. Tell us if you want to add, um, tell us what the next one is to see if we can make. Alright guys, see you soon. Bye. Bye bye.
Bye, mate. <laughs> Ow. Ow.